were somewhere on Twitch in the middle of a stream when the cringe began to take hold. Who is Onision? Anyone in chat got a, a one-liner for me? I just know he's been online for a really long time. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. A horrible person. A predator. Groomer who tried to gaslight his victims. Correct! Allegedly. All right, let's see. Guys, I, I just, just wanted, wanted to say I am uh, sorry, sorry about the last video I posted. I was a little, <laughs> was a little out of control. And, and I, I just wanted to let you know that I, I have thought about it a lot and I wanted to apologize to you guys for being so irrational and maybe a little schizo. Um, I've been up for about 20 hours now and uh, ever since my Patreon got deleted I haven't been feeling very good. Okay. There's videos about me right now where people are saying terrible things about me. I started a new website. I don't know what. Okay, so what I think is happening here, and this is just my opinion, and I assume that it's going to get worse. He says in the beginning that his, um, that everyone is making videos about me and I'm very like humiliated, okay? that that's like that's that's super important because like humiliation it really does something to you it makes you really angry with society it makes you kind of seek revenge or some kind of control or power because it's like everyone's laughing at me you know it makes you feel very like alone and confused and strange and weird and all of that and so what i think onision is doing and this is just my two cents is he's like, everyone's calling me crazy. You guys think I'm crazy. Well, I'll show you fucking crazy because it's kind of a way of like taking your power back in a sense, or at least maybe that's kind of what he feels like. And I'm not like excusing him. I'm just trying to understand. And now we know what happens to YouTubers. We know that that fame comes with a price, you know, and it's something a lot of us expect and a lot of us anticipate, but I don't think he expected all of his bad behavior to be shown so publicly online for a very long time. The human brain can really only take so much, you know? It, it's kind of, it's, I, I don't know. I think this is kind of wild. I am so sorry. I am such a mess. I think oh he's exaggerating the, the crazy to kind of try to take his power back. <laughs> it's gonna be and it's so also good. like, if you guys are going to talk about my behavior and talk about my crazy behavior, let me do crazy things. So now I control the crazy things that you say about me. All of the weird things that he just did in this video, he's the one that put it out there. He uploaded the video. He has his power back. And we're going to do Discord and it's... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Another thing that I think he's doing here is he's trying to overwhelm with emotion because when you make valid points to somebody about their bad behavior and then they start doing stuff like this, what are you going to say? I'm out of here. It seems like a lot of this is really forced to me, but I'm trying to understand why. Because you think something of me that justifies literally anything that you want to do. Like... Just like, I don't know, every video I put out to a ridiculous extent. Like seriously, I think my last video. Also, another thing I'm picking up is this is somebody that can't handle criticism at all. It's a, um, it's a, it's a strong skill to learn how to take criticism and also how to, you know, if somebody says something negative to you, about you and it's not proposed in a constructive way um, to like, Pull out the emotion and just pull out what, like, the lesson. Criticism serves a healthy function. Sometimes it can even help you get better. That's because it comes from a good place. You know, what they're trying to say. That's a great skill to learn. I don't think he has that. What is the point of even trying anymore when you people want to stop harassing me? This does remind me of Nick Akato. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. You look as I do this. Look at this. You see this? What are you going to do? Is I record on the other side of this, okay? I record on the other side. That was ah! fake, 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 all fake. You look at this! 
Oh, okay. Look at what you did! So this is the narcissist's final skill. <laughs> And you, I, I bet you, I wonder if we see that in the other Nikocado videos, uh, when they can't, like, they've got several skills that make them seem very in control up until the point, and then now, this is the final skill, overwhelming you with emotion and making themselves into the victim. Look at this. Look at what you did to me. Look at how I'm feeling. They make themselves the victim by showing this grand display of emotion, and you can't understand what's going on, so then you just leave it, leave them alone. And then now they get what they want, you to leave them alone and stop pressing them on their bad behavior. Like this? <laughs> you like this? Oh, look at this! This is victim <laughs> shit. You have a no fucking problem in your head. Do you think I'm bullshitting you? Do you think I'm no lying? Fuck video. you! Love me! No. Huh. <laughs> okay. To all the people who are saying that I'm like crazy and you know that I need a mental health check and <laughs> so look at that so now what's been happening for the past couple of weeks or months prior to these i guess is onision has been pressed about his bad behavior relating to children grooming minors uncomfortable conversations pushing people's boundaries now he has successfully managed to change the conversation to his mental health and at this point in time, mental health is a topic that we're all incredibly sensitive about. So what he's able to do is turn himself into the victim by using this incredibly emotional and aggressive behavior. He's changed the whole narrative. Now people aren't talking about him grooming kids. They're talking about him being crazy. These videos that I'm making, they're all fake. So I'm not actually um, mentally unsound. <laughs> my life is nothing but a comedy he is well aware that given his behavior in previous videos that nobody's going to believe that statement so him even saying that is like it's it's manipulative i don't know what his goal is even with saying that but he knows that it's not true on my new uh discord server even on onisionfans.com even on twitter they keep saying okay groomer to me He's going to, so the OK Groomer thing is getting to him and he's going to give them something else to talk about. Like, that's what they do. Okay, so a groomer is somebody who grooms themselves. Um. Obviously. There's a dog. Totally forward and honest. No. I'm an honest YouTuber. And <laughs> The pattern we've been seeing here is uh, usually these manipulators, they, they will project and say the exact opposite of what they are, what you should do. Nikocado is saying, you can trust me. You should trust me. Onision saying, I am totally honest while he's just denying everything. I want to show you how not a groomer I am, okay? Here it is. And look. Oh. 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 <laughs> I need you to picture you're a teacher and a girl comes up to you and she's crying and she says, that boy just pushed me. And she's got dirt on her. You can tell she's clearly been pushed. Somebody else saw it too. And then you pull Onision, the boy who pushed her into the classroom. And you say, Onision, you pushed this girl. Why, why did you push this girl? And he goes, I'm not a pusher. I'm not a pusher. You think I'm a drug pusher? I'm a kid. I didn't sell her drug. Okay, okay, okay. You think I'm a drug pusher? You think I'm a drug pusher? <laughs> what is the teacher gonna do after that? You know, like what? What do you, as the teacher, do? What you do in this situation is you just ask them the first question again and let them know that they're not getting away with this behavior. You're not gonna be overwhelmed by it, and you're not gonna let them deflect by being over emotional and pretending to be a victim. So hey, um, I talked to my therapist. And he asked me to ask all of you um, in a civil, calm way to uh, delete all your videos about me. He has a pattern of presenting himself as a victim, you know? Like, kind of what he's saying here is like, please delete all those videos. They're affecting me and they're targeting me. Without talking about the context of those videos or why these videos about him uh, possibly being a pedophile and grooming fans are coming out. You notice he never talks about what's in the videos, the context of the video, like absolutely nothing. Uh, for my first freak out video, uh, which, you know, I'm sorry I'm a human being. Mm. Oops, I guess none of you notice are human. Notice how he calls it a freak out video. Like it's a type of production. You know, every Monday I do a freak out video. Oh, my first freak out video. But then he like tries to cover it up by saying, but I'm a human being. Yeah, you're, 
a human being that's consciously manipulating your audience and people that are watching. I try to listen when Onision is really calm because that's real him coming out and he says something that he really means and then he switches to like, you know, the whole crazy thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to do this calmly though. Um, please, if you have it in your hearts, if you're a good person, if you are a decent human being, you'll understand that uh, people make mistakes. You're pathetically predictable. If you're a good person, if you're a decent person, then you'll delete those videos of me that are hurting me and hurting my reputation. But if you're a bad person, you won't delete them. Like, once again, not addressing the context of the videos. If the videos were to out him for being a pedophile that preys on his fan base, then those videos, in theory, had good intent. And he refuses to acknowledge that and just is labeling those videos as bad because it's calling out his bad behavior. A narcissist hates, they hate having their bad behavior revealed. They hate it. It's like they, their brain can't even process it. That's why if you call these people out on their shit, this is how they react.